ancient Sumerian technology. Boom, we got the supervisor out here helping today. Through here, do 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 do. Into the fuse box, okay, now what? Perfect, and we're committed. This is the first time I've ever had one of these 242s apart, so you're gonna see uh, the successes and the failures during the process of this that most uh, YouTubers don't show. It's always just success, 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 end product, good, but there's always uh, things that throw you for a loop, and I'm gonna leave as much of that stuff in there as I can. It's more honest. The video is gonna be long, but you know, it is what it is. If you wanna watch it, watch it. If you don't, don't. Definitely got some metal in there. So right now I got the speed sensor out. Now the speed sensor is not concentric all the way around. It's off to one side, depending on what size gears you put in these. Um, the gears are bigger, smaller, so that you can get the speed correct. So this particular one was on 2631. So I just took a picture of it to remember. Got four bolts that hold this snout on and I'm working on getting this snap ring. See, there's a, a groove there that that rides in. So I got that popped off. Now I'm just, I don't have the proper tool for this. So I'm just gonna have to make do with what I got. Okay, so then I should be able to pull this off. I have a, wow, see, look at all that poo poo in there. We got a bearing here. Dirt, crap, bunch of poop in there. So we'll end up replacing this bearing. And here we have the pump assembly, which is um, splined onto the shaft here. So this should walk off here. Now there is a pickup tube on the other side of this that it connects to. So the pump goes inside these little feet here, holds it in place, keeps it from spinning. So you want to be super careful of that when uh, you go to reassemble all this. See, there's the pickup tube right there. Okay, so let's zip the rest of these boats. Okay, so it looks like we got a 12.10 right there. Okay, let's grab three random sizes. Definitely not that one. Definitely close enough. That one's close enough. So these are uh, Flank Drive Plus. These are the best wrenches out there. Now you got some people are going to say, Well, I bought Harbor Freight wrenches and they're the best. Yeah, no, no, they're not. I know there's another pry spot here somewhere, but the camera's right in the way. More aggressive hammering usually, usually works. Right there. Grab my Chinese screwdriver here. Don't tell the tool guy because he doesn't like to warranty these because they're not pry bars. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. Now it comes right off. Yeah. See? Hmm. 
pickup screen. There's an O-ring here. Uh, actually, honestly, I'm surprised there's not more metal in here. Which is unusual. So we got a Torrington bearing here. We're going to replace that. And this chain's pretty sloppy, but honestly, I was expecting to see much worse. To be totally serious with you. Here we got the pump. It's just a little gerotor. Picks up the fluid and squirts it out somewhere. There's a seal inside here. So I'm guessing it probably squirts it through this hole into that main shaft there. That would be my guess since the fluid only comes up to about here in this this area, you know, thinking about this being level fluid comes up here. It all the only way the fluid's gonna get up in there is if it rides the chain, ride the snake. But if it has a pump, it can pump it right in. Yeah, that yeah, maybe maybe that is. It's hard to describe the noise that this thing was making. It sounded like <laughs> so if yours sounds like that, you probably should do this too. Okay, let's get this snap ring out of here. ring here is hardened so it's going to be brittle I'm trying not to pry on it too much you know I don't want to bend it or twist it I don't want it to shatter that would not be ideal There we go. Now with the beauty of video editing, you're not going to see that whole process. Of course it sticks to it. These gears are just centered. They're not machined or anything. It's just powdered metal. I'm going to put that like that so I don't forget which direction this goes. Okay, so here's the shift collar. Front planet, rear planet. Now this is the difference between the, uh, you know, the 231 and the 242 is that uh, this has full time high. So this is essentially a differential for all intents and purposes. And this collar slides in here and that's what locks it you know see what I'm saying open locked so this would be full time part time and then up here is the reduction this is your high low So I think, I think there's some bearings in here, which we will look at later. You want to make sure that your hub gears aren't all jalopy. This one's kind of got some sharp edges on there, so I might take a wire brush and kind of knock those edges down. So there's that piece. We have our shift forks and these little plastic things. Typically, 
these things wear out and make it to where this won't slide in and out these right inside here like so typically these will wear out fall inside into pieces here we got quite a bit of metal on there that's what the concern is and or was lots of metal looks like we got some rust in here we're gonna do is sheet gonna pry this over now this is not the most ideal way to do this but it's not gonna hurt it all right I gotta take a break and change my gloves okay forgot to turn the camera on but um, I pulled the shift detent out just a little 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 thingy there and I went ahead and put it in four low. This pulls this shift fork out enough to where I can stick this in here. <clears throat> Trying real hard not to put any excessive force on this. I don't have to. Try not to mess this bushing in the bottom up. It's almost doable without prying on it. So these springs are designed to see if the hubs aren't exactly where they're lined up. The springs will take up some of that slack until the gears do line up. There we go. See? Easy peasy. Now you gotta be careful with these because these are all spring loaded in here. And you really don't want this stuff flying apart. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this socket in here to keep this thing from coming apart. And I'm also gonna put it over here. Like that. Okay, so now we got the low, which just comes right out. Surprise! Okay, so here's the low hub, and we have more plastic of those bushings. Is that a crack? Maybe, maybe not. See, there's no synchros on here, so this is what the uh, the hubs look like. These little tapers here go into these tapers which keep it from you know obviously a flat can't go into flat so if these are angled they can slide into each other all right so let's see we got another snap ring in there I'm not sure if we need to take that out or not Thought that maybe this would come out, but I'm guessing we need to flip this over. I'm guessing there's probably a snap ring in here. Now your guess is as good as mine because I've never had one of these apart before, so. this is why you don't silicone the crap out of your seals when it gets down inside your bearings I thought I had the right pliers for this but I don't if I did I probably should have been using them earlier Finally got that snap ring out, so 
here's the input. This is the uh, Simpson gear that's the reduction. So we're just going to pop this snap ring out here and see what this looks like. Okay, so we got some thrust washers here inside this planet. Now you want to check your hubs. Check your teeth, make sure there's no chunks missing, make sure they're not super wobbly or, you know, a little bit of wobble is okay. You know, this way up and down is fine, but you don't want it to go side to side. So we don't have any chips. See, it's just kind of dirty in here. Now, see, some of the, this is a three pinion. Now, the uh, HD would have six pinions here. That's the, uh, that's the difference there. So, you know, as far as strength goes, you know, six is better than three, but three is better than one, right? So, yeah, um, not really much else here in the case. We got a bearing here, which has its own snap ring. We're going to have to get that out. And then we have uh, oh, that doesn't sound good. We got this front output which is kind of wobbly so that could have been part of the noise too so the next step here is going to be this guy okay so we have our favorite thing in the whole world here another snap ring Out of all of the thousands of dollars and tools I have, I don't have the right snap ring pliers, which is going to be on the list. You get what you pay for, right? Okay, snap ring. What else we got here? A washer. Okay, there's our hub. <laughs> and another snap ring. Nice if I had a tranny bench. With a hole that I could just stick this through. Okay, another snap ring. And here are our needle bearings. Yay. Just want to make sure that this is not all pitted. It's kind of weird. It looks like there's some rust on a lot of this stuff. So the difference between all of this is the 32 spline shaft is a little bit different through here. And that's what's going on with that one. So I was going to do a teardown video on that one too. But it's really kind of a moot point because it's, it's all the only difference here is this and the six pinion planet is pretty much the only thing. So from here out. I think I'm pretty much just going to quit this video. Uh, I'm just going to replace the bearings, which is, you know, not really uh, scientific, and go from there. So, enjoy.